quite bored. I am just getting myself a drink and uh, rearranging the tier 1 emotes. Seeing as now everybody has access. So you now should be able to access all of my emotes in tier 1. Hi right, Dave. Hey yeah, Dave, they've uh, updated Twitch today. So I have even more emotes for subscribers. And I'm going to have to get some more emotes sorted for follower emotes and stuff as well. Hi Manu. Right, I'm back. Um, I don't think I've got the animated ones. Let's have a look. I've got. Hi, frog. Hi, boy. Yeah, there are a lot of cuties here. Uh, let's switch to this one. Yeah, I've just checked. I don't have any of the animated slots yet. All of mine are just standard slots, but... I've got... Eight tier one slots now. So I can slap another tier one emote in at some point. And... Put an extra five follower emotes on top. Means I might have to shell out for some more. Good thing I got, like, paid in two days. Yeah, I think you need to have hit the, um... 50 sub points at some point to get it. Which I have not done yet. But if you get the 50 sub points, you get, like, all the slots, all the animated ones and everything. Hmm. Either that or they've just not all been rolled out yet. Um, make sure I'm actually... I should have actually gone to Lord then. Make sure I'm not on my soul level 1 character or something. Hmm. Yeah, I saw... I had a look at the... The thing, because all I've been able to find is that tweet about it. We shall have to wait and see. We might have to wait for updates or something. Anyway, how's everybody doing? How's your day, day been? I am loving it. Like, I've had a, ne a nice easy day today at work. And I'm off tomorrow, seeing as I'm working at the weekend. But I get tomorrow off and tomorrow's Pokemon day. But for now, we have souls. And a boss to try and beat. I'm going to have to get back into the spacing thing again with this. Right. Ignore you. Ignore you. Time to start bouncing my face off this guy. be weird because I've been doing a bunch of Bloodborne lately as well.
Whoop, that was bad timing. Right now we need to get ready to go to the other side of the room. Got it. Just let me get some distance, you can't. Stop doing the look behind you. Got him! Winner! First try back. I'll retrieve my zero souls as well. <gasps> Got him. Right, that's probably going to be the hardest boss outside the DLC. <laughs> Thank you for the claps, Dave. Let's go grab us some levels and stuff, shall we? Um, I don't think Pontiff's Soul gets us anything special, but... Oh, I do have a Wing Soul Mass. Never mind. To Fire Link we go. There we go, that's a nice... ...shot back. Just go straight in and bash Pontiff in the face. Now I get to go to my favourite PvP area. Although I am likely to die horribly if we actually come across anybody PvPing. <laughs> Kitty always looks at you weird. Right, we were on 21. We were going to go for 25 on all of these, weren't we? Farewell, I mean. Dun, dun, dun. Right, <coughs> that's you sorted. Time to swap round these again. Treatment. What we're gonna get? We'll break out the homing soul mass. We'll get great heavy, and we'll get our sword spell. Got to Pontiff. Winner. Oh, yeah, those of you who sneaked on Discord as well will already have seen, but I have got all of the VTuber stuff set up for Christmas and for across December. So, the entirety of December, I will be doing VTuber or specifically PNG Tuber stuff because it's much, much easier to set up. And I've got all my Christmas panels and everything set up. I am looking for, like, ideas. Because I know I've got the, um... Like, the Manu... Like, little sound alerts and stuff like that at the moment. But if you've got any ideas for, like, any Christmas ones or anything I can include, just give us a shout. Because I am bad at ideas for the Christmas ones. Kind of like I had the T 
T-Rex roar and everything for Halloween. I'm looking for like Christmas themed ones. Ah, uh, get back here you. No way did you both just escape, little bastards. Oh look, yeah there's the PvP gap. Am I being invaded already? I am! And it's got... Hello. Oh, not even bowing, just going straight for the kill, are we? I mean, I'm fat rolling, so I'll not be very good, but... I'm still gonna... Try it. Wow, he's not very good. Bugger it. Yeah, I'll see if I can find that one, Dave, because I want them to be... I want to try and do the green screen style ones like I've got with like the little video to go along. So I'll see if I can find that clip of Arnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He caught me on the fat rolls, but I almost had him. But yeah, this is the PvP area. You want to fight? This is the area it happens. Specifically this little bit out here, this is like a little fighting arena. And then you've got like automatic invasions that happen in this area as well. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. There. Got a twinkling test mate. Grab this. Yeah, we'll probably get a few more invasions. Like, this area is just the invasion area. It's a good fun one as well, because you've got this little arena bit, and you've got all that over there. Let's see if we can get the little bug to respawn. Hey! Excuse me, princess! <gasps> you missed it, Coldman Jenkins. I one-shot him. I say I one-shot him. I beat him, like, first try. Ran straight into him. Yeah, Sherry. I say one-shot. One-shot this stream, then. I literally went in first try this time, battered him. Time to take down the rest of the church. Oh yeah, there's those guys up there, isn't there? <laughs> Shree! <laughs> Did you have a uh, have fun with Demon Souls, Sherry? Like, I saw that you had it running, but I couldn't jump in to watch because I was still working. Oh, Phalanx. Yeah, you'll recognise him. They brought him back for Dark Souls 1, didn't they? Or pretty much brought him back anyway. But yeah, Phalanx is a interesting one. Stupid. 
my deacons. Give me the item. Another large tank. They really want you to have upgraded weapons going through here. So they're just chucking large shards and stuff at you. Winning. I am winning so far. So far. Pontiff was down there. He's dead now. Um, oh yeah, that's a shortcut down, isn't it? I'm weaning. Oh, Alex, I don't know if you can hear us, if you're still working us or not, but they've added a bunch more emote slots as well now. We should all have a bunch of them. Right, you... That was the wrong way. No, it's not. That fucked oh, up. That kick. That's the, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. Yeah, I've just moved a bunch of them into all the stuff I had that were stashed in tier 3 and behind bits and stuff I've just moved them all tier 1 or duplicated them yeah. no he got me Mimic. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot to unlock the shortcut as well, didn't I? <laughs> ah, Dave has found the clip for me. Cool. I shall make that later. Need the turbo mandle. Yeah, that was my terrible Arnie impression. There we go. Twinkling tie night. But yeah, more emos is fun. Means I can play around and get some extras now. And I get, like I said, I get paid in two days so I might even commission some so all the emotes I've got at the moment apart from the ones that Manu kindly made <laughs> yeah, apart from the emotes that Manu kindly made for us and Bart um, and Alex actually as well uh, they've all been commissioned with the same dude so I might get some more because they're always really good to run round in a big circle. Right this way and this way. <gasps> Bug. Oi. And that was a simple gem. Good for magic weapons. If I was using one. Too bad you can't use staffs anymore. Used to be able to, to get a bit of extra damage and stuff out. you Sherry, you're going to ban him all now. Press <sighs> 4 to learn more about the martial art of dad jokes with a token Dilf trouble base. Only <sighs> 
anonymous gifter as well. Press four to learn more about the martial art of dad jokes with a token Wonder who that could be. trouble base. Wonder who that could be. Oh yeah. Right, um Missed. Oops. Well, great. This guy can get pestilent mist in the face. I still need to finish making my uh, Elder Ring video as well. I've got bits of it cut up. I just keep forgetting. Right, um... I'm not liking holding, holding soul mass. Plus I can use Pestle Mist on the Giants as well probably. <laughs> yeah, bust a spinning kick. Found out as well, the um, Pestle Mist thing for the Mimics works with any AoE spell. So a lot of the... Um, what the poison pyromancers and stuff like that does it to them as well. Anything else? No, I can't get to the other side, can we? I do miss... Um, there used to be a trap spell that was in Dark Souls 2 that used to be great for mimics. It was a pyromancy, it was called Lingering Flame. And what you'd do is it would it basically worked a bit like a trap fireball from Dungeons and Dragons. It would leave like a little dot here. And then after about 10 seconds, if an enemy went near it, it blew up and exploded. So what you used to do is you'd cast Lingering Flame. Then you'd smack the Mimic and run away and cast another one like here. And it would get up, get blown up by the first one, run towards you, get blown up by the second as well. <laughs> that golden Ritual Spear. Ritual Spear presented to Dark Moon Knights before Sullivan claimed the title of Pontiff. Can be used as a staff. Sorcery is casting this weapon. Channel the Wielder's Faith. So, that is... Staff that you can also use for faith. Ta-da! And it's alright if you're going for faith as well. As you can see it's got faith scaling on it. So if you've got like a faith character and you want to chuck a couple of spells in, you can use that. But we will stick with the heretic staff for now because it's better. Right. Bum, 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 bum. Look at these guys with crazy range. Flash sword not too good at you guys. as well. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I should I need to stop doing that. That walking out of range while I'm casting.
<laughs> yeah, I've done that so much, just like... Oh. You weren't supposed to notice me. Did it again. No. Give me health. <laughs> All the misses. And he drops a deep gem for us. Now we've got more of them coming this way. More. Need more. More juice. We open this other side. as a sound. Fuck you! Asshole archer. Over there. Let's go. <laughs> now we can go down this way now. I remember which giant is the sleepy one. Is it you? No, because I can walk on top of you. Oi! I hear it snoring as well, it's one of these ones. And it's one sat there, isn't it? In the meantime, I can see people buffing weapons. Oh. He was closer than expected. Mr. Drang Hammers, I can see you. And your mate with the spears over there. I do like those weapons. I actually used the Drang Twin Hammers for 
quite a while when I made my uh, first playthrough of the game. Because they're twi they're pet they're dead. Because they're strength weapons. And they're really cool paired strength weapons. They're about the only paired strength weapon in the game until DLC came out. Well, both of you dealt with. Those guys shouldn't come back as well. Um. Beepity beep, beep, right, both of them dead. We've still got the giant. Or giants. And deacons and friends up top. My okay. dad, that's for you. No. Right. At least the two, the two. Paired weapon guys have gone now. Now it's just going to be a slog through this area. Right, um. Yeah, we'll go Giant's way again. I just need to run. I wonder if I stay over this side. Will I stay out of range of the nerds up there? Maybe. Nope. See him casting at me. Straight through him. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and kill the guys up top first. Kill the guys up top and then come down. Right, charge. Oh yeah, I've still got that on. Boost, greatly boosts. Shortens casting time. Oh yeah, let's pull this back on. Dun, 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 dun. Right, charge. There we go, that went much smoother than last time. Goes down there. Oh. 
Um, so yeah, we had you two further down and you on the right. So you can come back down this way a bit. Uh, no, it's been a nice one today, Dave. Like, I managed to get a decent amount of them done. I'll have some more to do over the weekend. Like, I've got tomorrow off and then... Because I'm off tomorrow, it means I'll have loads of questions to deal with on Saturday and stuff. Only downside is having to deal with other shit I shouldn't have to because people aren't in. <laughs> yeah, we've got... We have multiple teams who deal with, like, specific issues. I used to be on one of them, and I moved away from that job ages ago. But, um, none of them are in this weekend. And I'm in this weekend. So rather than the manager, like, I don't know, organising the shifts of his staff properly, he's just turned around and said, no, 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 Aaron will cover it for us while he's in. No, well, I've got my own shit to do. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that shit anymore for a reason. Because it's shit. But at least I have tomorrow off. Yeah, plan is for tomorrow as well. Um, I will be playing Pokemon. But I don't know what time my game is arriving. So it'll be uh, Paper Mario, like starting at about midday UK time, because I called off Paper Mario the other day because I was knackered, and then it will just be Paper Mario until Pokemon arrives. Or if uh, Pokemon does arrive in the morning, it will be Paper Mario until Pokemon is installed. But it should be nice and chilled. And you guys can help me uh, name my Pokemon and everything. Because it will be my first time ever playing Diamond or Pearl. Oh, it's this one snoring. Get wrecked, you stupid giant. Right, you dealt with? Any more loot? You know, I once got invaded by a hacker on these stairs. Doing random PvP stuff. There was a guy who's invaded here. And I was up here just going into this room. When he invaded, he spawned down there in the middle. Ran up to about here on the stairs. Targeted me and fired every ranged projectile in the game at once. Like every spell, pyromancy, miracle, like all the different kinds of arrows and stuff all just fired at once and hit me. Like tanked the game's frame rate. Secret. I always remember this is here for one major reason. Is that there is a bonfire down here. It takes a bit of fighting to get to it though because it has protectors. Um, so we've got you over there. 
Can I get around the corner? I want to see if I can drop a pestle at least in his face. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. I've seen videos of people like people invading, climbing at the top of the ladder while the uh, the host is climbing down, and like jumping off the ladder and plunging attack on their way down and shit like that. It's crazy. Right. Now we have a long run to do, but we can skip a chunk because we've got this. It's too bad this door never works. It'd be handy if it was, but... So we go up here, and we are going to leg it. Boom, 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 boom. And we're just going to run along here. On weave! Serpentine, serpentine! Serpentine! Serpentine. And then we're gonna bounce our heads off these guys for a bit. Because I want this bonfire here. I also want the stuff that's down here. Grab this. Cast it a bit earlier this time. Is that the other one coming in? Got ya. One down. We got his body in the corner. I wonder. Oh, it's just out of range. What we have here is strategic pillars. Come on. I know your guts is inside beast, but you're still a beast. Gotcha. And we got a really cool ring, but I won't be using it because as cool as the ring of favour and protection is, it increases the equip load. Ring symbolising the favour of the goddess Fina, whose fateful beauty is mentioned in legend. True to fickle nature of Fina's favour, her ring increases max HP, stamina and maximum equip load. Yeah, ring of favour and protection is cool, but because of the equip load I won't be using it, because we are fat rolling the entire way. Deep jam. Light the bonfire. Mm. 
I just realised I got a shit ton of souls as well. Get the cool die covenant. Yep. Bum, bum, bum. Right, let's go. Uh, back to Firelink. Get more levels. Welcome Go home. Even speaker. further. Very then hate. So give me that. Twenty-four. Almost twenty-five. Farewell, I made Once it's at twenty-five, we'll be leaving it there. Um Will you give me enough? Doubt it. Put the dregs away as well. Uh Human dwags, you go away. Cool sorcerer staff. Only slay great arrows can go away. Oh well, yeah, I was gonna check, see if there was any other souls I could use in here. They're just the boss souls, isn't there? Oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> um, I said I'd ban him the other day, and I can't remember whose chat it was. And I think it might have been like Divs or something. <laughs> whose chat did I say I was going to ban him? In? <laughs> might even have been Greg's. <laughs> But I said I was going to ban Spike on my channel as well, and I just completely forgot to undo it. Oops. Now, now. Do not. <laughs> oh well, you're unbanned now, it's fine. I'm sorry, Spike. What happens when you hit small children with cars? Welcome. <laughs> Very well then take. Here we go, twenty-five. And we need <laughs> Yeah, that's your reward to spike. Your reward for hitting oh, small well, children with cars. Me. <gasps> Smashed it, Brendan. Um, like, got in the stream, went, right, I'm gonna bash my head off Sullivan for a bit. And then beat him. Pretty Let's try this stream. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Is the kid alright and everything, Spike? Ah. Is it more shock than anything else? So like they said earlier in my full stream, kids tend to be quite bouncy. Ashen one. Uh, to the water reserve. Oh yeah, if you've not seen, we've got loads more emote slots now. So I've moved everything I can into tier one <laughs> yeah you must be good then yeah so on Yash's stream earlier like they'd um, implemented more slots and everything for affiliates so I've got like seven slots filled so far for tier one I've got another slot I can put in for eight total. 
And then I have five follower emotes to fill out at some point. And yeah, Brendan, I, I battered him this time. There was like a, a couple of hairy moments, but I managed it. <gasps> Sobble hands. Oh, I do like the Rowlet one. Sleepy Rowlet. Do, do hast, do hast Mike. La 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 la. <laughs> do hast Mike. Almost. Almost. Boom, boom, boom. Right, um... Now it's this way. This is gonna be... This could potentially be very painful, this bit. I can't remember how. What's the word? Resistant these dudes are to magic. Oh well. Yep. Yep. Time to run. the edge in the middle of the air. Come on, shoot your arrow. There. Ah. <laughs> Take that, you stupid knight. Of him to shoot his next shot. Is he gonna? Yeah, he is. Ugh. He fires way faster. See? Fuck that guy. That's that one dealt with. We got one. Got one there up at the end. Um. Ah, uh, no. For the archers. Yeah, those archers are bastards. Gonna be a struggle. Um. <laughs> nice. I'm not too bad at this one. Like, I've played through Dark Souls 3 more than any of the others. So I think I've completed it like three or four times. But fat rolling is painful. I always avoid fat rolling. I've also never done full sorcery for Dark Souls 3. I've always done like strength or dex or a mixture of like melee and spells. I did do full pyromancy at one point, but that was kind of boring. I think I quit the full pyromancy one part way through. Let's go this way. What's this? 
Easterner's Ashes. Any more loot? Oop, I hear you. Um, where do I need to go? Past him. Is it down the next one? Yeah, down the next one. So, run! Oh no, it wasn't this one. Uh... It was down that one that he stood on. Right, let's go. Hear them all running after me. What deal, Spike? Which deal is this? Check out that arrow. Right through the chin. <gasps> well, I do know the deal, actually, Spike. The deal with the, uh, the thing where you redeem the channel points to let everybody know that you are a tiny little bitch. Right, Shroker door is open. Time for more mad running. No, not that way. Fat roll the arrow. Run past the knight. Down the stairs and leg it. No. We pull the lever. <laughs> gone. Winner, we made it. Illusion ahead. <gasps> Illusion ahead. Illusion ahead. Spouse ahead. Not for this playthrough, there isn't. Oh, this is the set that I wear on my PvP character. Yeah, because the brass set just looks cool. In fact, let's do a bit of fashion, shall we? No, it's not. I fucked up. You're that's, a medium That's the dumbest move I've ever done. Still a medium roll. Still a medium roll. Weird. We need heavier stuff. I really like nuts. Someone oh, is going to clip it. Yeah, just overlay them all. Right, um, it's Silver Knight. There we go. We are slightly shinier. Oh no. <laughs> Spike, what are you doing? <laughs> it does. <laughs> nice. There you go. So, normally there would be an Henri here, 
but there isn't because I've saved her, basically. Oh, poor Spike is poor. Spend all that money on sound alerts and TTS, didn't you? If only there was some sort of handy way I could refund points. There. We look slightly fancier. I do quite like the look of this uniform. If only there was like... Well, if the brass armour was heavy enough I'd wear that any day, but it's not. So we've got silver or lothric. They're about the right weight. We'll go for silver for now. I prefer the look of the silver one. Till we get something fancier. Right. And... Away we go. <laughs> it's okay, Spike. I usually do it at the end of the stream anyway. Like, I'll just pick random ones and either complete them or reject them or whatever. So people are always getting points back and stuff. Um, so we've got... This. No worries. This one? No. I did a bit wrong. But first I'm gonna light this bonfire. Pew. I think I needed to move it down again. Or or not, is it down here I need to be? It is! Right, time to do something really stupid. Eh. Uh, it's all a trap. And now we can meet a friend. Hello. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yorshka, captain Yorshka. of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckoned thee to such a place? This. Thou thinks too. Joining the coolest covenant. Very well. Captain to this night, this company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. Because Dark Moons are cool. Even if it is the hardest covenant to level up by far. far. Hear my voice. It to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister, and Sister Guinevere. Guinevere. A blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords. Then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the dark moon. Ta-da! She has some sort Art of corruption on her face. I've not noticed that before. Moon, the only knight of our can company. I, can I get the camera closer in on it? And face thy solemn she does duty. look. You can see it around her eye. I've not noticed that before. Anyway, we're now a blade of the dark moon. Bye bye, sun bros. Hello, dark moons. Oh. If I can provide thee succor. Oh, I've not got any other so with me. So now, I always have this blade of the dark moon thing on, because what it does is if somebody is way of the blue or I think it works for sunlight as well and they get invaded by someone if you're a dark blue dark moon you can get automatically summoned into their world to help them fight off the invader which is always fun so I always have that on you'll know it's working as well because what the symbol at the top left the kind of mashed looking 
blade and moon symbol when it's working that starts flashing. Not happening at the moment because we're in like a a quieter area. But the moment I move out to an area where PvP happens, that will start glowing. And if we're lucky, we might get summoned in to start a fight. Um, which way was it? Th this one? Yes. Ta-da! And then... We're back near it, Phil. But we're not staying here, we're just going. Dwan Orlando! Let's we'll see if our dark moon sign starts flashing. If it does, we might even get a chance to do invasions and shit. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. So you can see it's flashing. That means there is PvP going on, and he's trying to find a world for me to jump in and help. Yeah, maybe Brendan. That's why I'm a dark moon. And not just because dark moons are one of the coolest colors. Fuck this guy with his spear. Oh yeah, there's the second one, isn't there? Die already. There you go, Spike. It works. Bloody windy up here. Right, which way is it I'm supposed to go? Is it giant way or... Large soul. We have... Oh yeah! We could do this, can't we? Because we're helping Henri. Yes. Let's go help our friend. Because our friend Anri is going fighting Aldrich. So we can give her a hand. And we can get a preview of how bad it's going to be when we actually have to mm. fight Aldrich. I thought it might be you. Then I'm afraid Horace. Yeah, Horus is a bit dead, mate. So... Luckily, I do know the trick for this dickhead. Because he always spawns at the wall, which is furthest away from you. So, I'm going to do that. Which is coming for me, so I need to sprint. And now, because... Armory's over there, you should be the same one again. Because for some reason it's based off distance to me. Stop that. But these things are annoying. They spread out and then they hold in. And our spells are suddenly a lot less effective. Nope. Leave me alone. We could do with another pestilent mist. Where are you going to pop out? There. <gasps> Animated giggles. That's what we're here for, gag. 
animated giggles is what it's all about. This is going to be another one where Pestilent this is a, a hero, isn't it? Because look at that. Aldrich is just big enough that he can't help be inside it. There we go. And again, Ember for helping. Thank you. Truly. Bye, Henri. Horrid. We've done it. We really have. Here we go, we have helped Henry. All is good. Yeah. Um Oh yeah. I was trying to remember which way it was. <gasps> no, not Angry Knight. good and I vaguely know a decent tactic for uh, Aldrich right, what's down here anything here hidden wall maybe no and then the side. Nothing. Right, let's go to the giant's entrance then. Unless this door opens, which I doubt it does. Do you open? No, you do not. free to look for items in peace. <gasps> Greg spin to be cool. I hope I get animated emotes at some point. I'll have to keep refreshing it and checking it over the next few days. I can add some fun ones. I can add the uh the trouble blah 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 one. Cause I would love to have that as like an emote I can just use anywhere. We'll have to find out what the official rules for them all are. Yeah, because we've got... We've got the crying one and the angry one, which... Lovely Bart made for us. And we have Trouble Blah Blah Blah, which Manu made for us. So I'd love to be able to just use those anywhere. Right. They're great. I love them. Oh, it's blocked off. Right. Ignore these deacons. Let's open the shortcut door. <gasps> Moonlight arrows. Oh no, I've just remembered what's in here. There he is. He's just dropped down. This dickhead. You can get pestilent misted. 
very well my actual spells do against you. If I even get to cast one. Oh, not bad. Just need to get to a point where I can actually hit you. Oi! I'm not allowed outside. Bad monster. But, oh, you went all the way down the stairs. Uh, come on. I'm like 97% sure you're not supposed to go out there. Maybe 98. Anyway. Got you. You dealt with, and we get Aldrich's Ruby. What's Aldrich's Ruby do? Um, Ruby recovers HP from critical attacks. Not bad. So got slime. I just like the slimes. Especially this one. Because they're resistant to magic. And I've got two of them to kill. Like flame they get wrecked by. Actual magic. Let's try it with the buff. Ah, oh, with the buff isn't too bad. But all I want is access to this chest. I want to see what's in it. Got Esther's shard. Perfect. Right, let's head back to the bonfire. She's got a fair few souls as well. Might be able to get a level out of this. So we got what two knights on the stairs, and then it's a sprint to uh, Aldrich's door. And it looks like Pestilent Mist is going to be what we're going to be using against Aldrich, or trying to anyway. Okay. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take no Um, I need another four K. Do I have Yes, easily. Oops. Welcome. Very well. Uh stick attunement at one. Gives us a bit more mana, and we get another slot off that actually. So we'll leave a tumor at 24. Uh, Dancer is going to be a pain, and Dancer is actually going to be the next boss after Aldrich. If I'm remembering my boss order correctly. Yes, it is. So after I take down Aldrich, it will be Dancer. Dancer is going to be a pain. My pl I do have a plan for Dancer. Again, it involves Pestilent Mist and trying to kite her through it. But Phase 2 Dancer is where I'm going to get worried because she moves fast. Ah, and she moves a lot. Uh, you still need chunks. Reinforce Estes, please. Uh, and we'll give you the Giant's Call. But yeah, Dancer is going to be a painful one. Giant. Seems like ages past. We dance when you can spin. She does both. 
I she spins a lot as well. Like My thanks. I'll be fine, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Poor giant. Right. Uh, a lot, Esther. So what have we got now? We got. We'll go ten to three. Pretty, my God. Me, 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 me. Now, do I do a mad dash? Right. In fact, what's what I was gonna do? Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Spin. Um. Does there farewell? Does forsworn the Lord's mark? There is not more to say. Farewell. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, she didn't like the fact that I uh, saved Anri, so... Die, bitch. Fight! Oh, healing. Healing is not allowed. I do like that she uses Dark Hand though. It's pretty cool considering it's a magic shield. Moon Moon! Stop healing, bitch. You're not allowed to heal. Shield away, and that was your failure. And fuck car. I'm gonna take your ashes and your weapon. So the weapon she has is Dark Drift, which is cool. Cursed sword with an unseen blade. The choice weapon of Yuria of Londor. Yuria, a mentor of the Sable Church, an accomplished swordswoman, said to have claimed a hundred lives with this weapon. And basically, her sword can go straight through shields and it has an invisible blade so check it out oh all those cool animated emotes soon soon let's give this bitch the ashes I bring presents. Passing fine ash thou hast given, and awfully warm at that, almost as if it had lived mere moments ago. Yeah, you can just ignore that bit. She's but been dead for a while. I'm sure an ashen one such as thee would never indulge such base contrivance. <laughs> never, never. Um. Gracious, let this I only. <laughs> right, what have we got now? We've got. More embers, blessings, we've got repair powders and blossoms, purging stones, cool. Um, we've got all those. Human pine resin is still limited for some priest. We can now buy large tartanite shards, we can buy an infinite amount of them. Oh, the spells she was selling. We can now buy as well. Heavy soul. Magic weapon, magic shield. We can buy the dark hand. 65. Mm. Weapon that has its way to Vulcan Art. Unique to Londor, Land of Hollow. It is said to be sent to the relic of a prominent dual serpent. The dark hand mercilessly sapped the essence of its victims and can also use, also double as a special shield. It cannot be used two handed. Skill life drain. Mace the victim and steal their HP. Can only be used against humans. That is fun to use, to be honest. Uh, we got the Easterner armor. Tarkus's set. We got Exile armor. We've got her, her sets as well. Carla's stuff. I did buy the big hat. Oh, yeah, rings. Life ring, wood grain, um, 
Void Shield, Damage Absorption when your HP's full, Undrew Dark, lets me appear human, makes it look like a fine one. That one is fun to use, the Untrue White Ring. If you invade somebody and they're busy, you can pop that on and trick them into thinking you're a white phantom before you actually attack them. Bonus points if you take it off before you attack them. Right, uh, so we're going to go to Anor Londo and we're going to do a mad dash to Aldrich. And when we reach Aldrich, we're going to drop Pestilent Mist. And I'm going to see if I can remember the strategy properly. Hmm. Right, um, so we've got Knight who comes down there. He's going to do his lunge. And we're going to ignore. Also going to ignore you. Because we are running. Can I run all this way? I think it's down this side is the best way to do Yeah, it is. Down this side. Weave round the fire. And into the boss room. Where we meet. Aldrich, the Vower of Gods. Aldrich. Just let me cast it first. There. Right, so if I do this right, you should spawn on that side. Yes! Cast that. Aldrich, away with the Not that one. Run! Why are you not running away? You usually run away by now. You're going to come back to this corner. No, I'm going to cast that again. Fiery Aldrich. Oh no. Run boy, run! Oh girl, that's it. Aldrich is going for that corner. Why are you moving around so much? You almost never move around this much. And also I'm out of the bugger. Uh oh. 
Yeah, this is second to last Brindon. Still got the twins to do. <gasps> Pope's already dead, Raph. And hi, Raph, how are you? Yeah, I've got Aldrich and the other Lord to do. I'm alright. I am looking forward to my day off work tomorrow. How are you doing? Are you still getting your sleep sorted? Nice. All sorted now, you got into the got back into the rhythm of it. And you cast this. And then run. Well that was probably the wrong way around to do it. But. <laughs> no worries, Raph. Yeah, I've seen um, friend. I've got a couple of friends who live in the US. Like they're down in, like ones in Texas, ones in Arizona, and they both say like they've been to Europe, they've been to the UK. One of them's been to Australia. One of them spent like eight months in France, I think it was. And she said she couldn't believe how unbelievably sweet American food was compared to everywhere else. Just because of all the stuff they put in it. before you cast that bloody arrow spell, but... Yeah, I've seen like um, being so close to Asia and to Malaysia and stuff specifically, you get pretty authentic food. But yeah, I've been told if I do ever go to the US to just avoid the Chinese food there because it's like 80% sugar. Um, I don't think. Well, Pestilent Mist is working, but I think I need some faster spells. Um. Oh yeah, I can attune four now, can I? Um, so we'll go. The homing soul mass. We'll go. Great soul arrow. Don't have enough int for soul spear yet. We will go pestilent mist and. I'm going to try something stupid this time. Brendan is in Germany. But yeah, it is similar in the UK. Like, we've got a couple of authentic places. Like, um... There's at least one... 
like a Cantonese restaurant near me and it's run by a Cantonese family and has done for years and they, they import a load of stuff but a lot of it is just westernized stuff right um Oh, it does a bit more if it hits the window a bit on top. Um, what I wanted to cast was this. Because I want to see... Check that out. Blocks it all. Yeah, bitch. Right. I have an idea now. Don't know how this ain't gonna work against the arrows, but I have a plan, and it involves pestilent mist and great magic shield. Right, so Seattle has good burgers from what I know, but that is because one of the YouTube channels I watch is literally called The Burger Scholar. And he's just like, oh yeah, this is a really good burger place. You should go and check it out. Right, so we are doing Great Magic Shield. Get casted. A pestilent mist. Because. Check that out. Let's see how this fares against Great Magic Shield. I don't think it will. Oh, it does. Sick. Right, fair my tactic. That was the wrong button. Cast that at the wrong time. This seems to be a good plan though. Great magic shield and pestilent mist. Maybe I might actually equip my uh, magic sword spell as well. See how well this works. We've got a great magic shield. Um, get rid of you. Great magic shield. Pestilent mist. Flash sword. What's this? 
Oh, that looks good. Even though it's gigantic. Dom. Even if you do move away. Right, you're gonna be in the corner. rings round. Yeah, table sized pizza. <laughs> it's enough for an entire family. Right, um you boost sorcery is we're gonna swap you for expen <gasps> I'm being summoned to help Summon to World as a blade of the Dark Moon. Let's go! Fat wizard to the rescue. Oh, soon, Manu. Soon. I'm sure they'll do a statement soon saying exactly what the parameters are for getting them and stuff. Never mind. I spawn in and immediately win. Easiest victory ever. Right, um... So yeah, we've got Great Magic Shield, we've got Pestilent Mist. I've got Lingering on for the ex for them to last longer. Let's go for it. Good boy. Yeah, I remember when we had two emotes. <gasps> Greg. Greg, you know what that means? You've got enough slots now to get Greg the 8 kick back. Soon. is going to be so happy. Right, buff shield. Run forwards. Get hit by big gribbling spell. Done that before. Right. 
start this run again. Hey! Who said you could do that? Dark Spirit Chad, yeah. <laughs> that was great. You know what, I honestly expected to see way more PvP with it being this close to Elden Ring release. Like seeing as they've had the uh, network test and everything, but maybe not. Bitch, I've got a magic shield. And then you decide to run for the first one, right? Uh, Last. Yeah, boy. That was the wrong thing. Never mind. But Aldrich, I'm just going to sit here. Again. Oh. I mean, I don't want to mess with that. Oh, need to rebuff shield. Magic back. Ah, we're getting there. <gasps> Did Brendan? Well, I do have some like handy follower slots open. If you send me the original image, Bryn, I will add it to my follower emotes for now. There. So yeah, we can have the uh, Believe in Bryn emote. Uh, 
not five in. What, so? Great magic shield. But we're not forgetting all right. Right, you're gonna be over there. I'm gonna have to run for this one because she was running out. But yeah, Brendan, DM me the like the original size one if you've got it. And I will add it. And it can be my follower email until I get a few more. Right. I think this is gonna be our tactic for Aldrich. It's going to be Great Magic Shield and dropping Pestilent, Pestilent Mist on him. Because as long as I can keep Great Magic Shield up, it seems to block almost everything he does. Um, well, the shield I'm using has... Uh, like the boost spell effect stuff increases the magic resist of it, if I remember correctly. And pretty much everything Aldrich does is magical, there's very little physical to it. Unless he hits you with the side directly. Right, so he's probably enough. It's gonna be that corner. Here we go. Even his scythe attacks like that. Uh, oh, run away. Are almost purely magical. Need to rebuff shield. No. Stop that. All I want to do is buff my shield. I didn't have enough stamina for it that time. Hidden body? Mm. Hidden body might be useful actually. I'm just not sure how well it works on bosses. <gasps> Bill. I know I have hidden body, I just almost never use it. It's right here. Oh, he still saw me, but not until I got really close. You could probably still hear me as well, because I know what enemies have a hearing range. Wait. It's also quite cheap.
Hát Aldrich. Oh, you mean Spike? Spike never came back from his smart break. He's abandoned us. He told me he was going out for milk and now he's never come back. Maybe I should just ban him again. <laughs> Um, that's what I was going to check, actually. Just give me a second, I need to check something on Twitch. Dashboard. Um, Sorry, I'll only be a second. Hidden body to run to the boss. We need to use great magic shield as soon as we get in there. And then have pestle vest ready. Ooh. Oh, I can actually survive it. As much as he wants to spam it at me. Just as it ran out, typical. with my shield. There. And you heal. And you move in. I mean, 
I'm just going to stand here. Should have gone for a heal instead then. We're getting there though. Just need to polish up the strategy a bit. for this bit. I actually forgot this spell even existed. Because I know between this and I think it's Spook, you can make yourself pretty much undetectable. Uh, nah, 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 nah. It doesn't last as long as I thought it would do though. Oh well. Pretty magic shield. this way, perfect. It's where we want you to be. Right, uh, of shield. Yeah, but we're probably going to need a rebuff. Yeah, rebuff right now. run out just as I got there. Oh, 
Norwich. Ah. That lasted much longer that time. Oh no. We're getting there. I think I need a few more casts, to be honest. As great as Grey Magic Shield is, it is expensive. Um, so we'll go Fire Link and we'll rearrange those a bit. <laughs> there you go, Brendan. You are now a VIP. <gasps> yeah, so am I. I'm really excited for Elden Ring. I can't wait. Ah, um, a lot. Nine and four. Pretty yeah. Beacon. From what I've played of it so far, I'm loving it. I just need more. And now the only all of that. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Teach me the dark stuff. Um, you can have that. And you can oh, also right. have that. Um, so your Fridman Dark Sorcery. Your affinity. The Dark Edge, Fire Whip, your Paramancies, got Rapport, Black Fame, which has a Faith requirement. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, basically, I'm doing a toss-up at the moment on what I'll actually play for my first playthrough of Elden Ring. It's either going to be do a Cleric build, like I did in the Network Test, so I can have fun with the the Beast Claw Miracle and the Dragon Fires and stuff like that. Or I go for a full deck build for the first time and do like power stance to twin blades or something ridiculous like that. So I'm just going to work out which I want to do. Right, what time is it? It is... Right. It's quarter past nine at the moment. I'm going to go till half past. And then half past will be... My last attempt. Now, I've done... Big Smashy for almost all the other games. Like, Dark Souls 1. I did that. I did... Uh, I used the... Vihander for the entire uh, it was Vihander with Faith as well so I had um, like Heal and Lightning Spear and all that my first playthrough uh, Dark Souls 2 I actually did pure sorcery for Dark Souls 2 actually my first playthrough of Dark Souls 2 And then Dark Souls 3 I did pure big smashy. Need to rebuff shield. Yeah, the, uh, the Cleric class um, in, or Prophet I should say it's called, in Elder Ring starts with the club it looks like. 
But yeah, it looks like they've added a fair few interesting weapons. Like the Katani you could get in this one had a, a cool weapon art for it where you could like fire out wind projectiles. Like the arts of war are interchangeable, but they're not final, they're just like network test stuff, but it was a a taste of the kind of stuff you could do. But yeah, at the moment it is still for me it's a toss up between going on a a full faith build and just relying on all the attack miracles and stuff or just doing silly decks and power stancing I have not yet decided right come on Aldrich Here. And you decide to move dick. Wow, actually bashing in with my staff does decent damage. Oh, it's because he was still inside the pestilent mist as well, but right, ignore me. Quick buff, buff. at completely the wrong time. Always oh, start with deprived. Mm. Yeah, I still have, before Elden Ring comes out, I've got to finish Bloodborne again. Uh, finish. Yeah, finish Bloodborne again. Finish this playthrough of Dark Souls 3 finish my soul level 1 Dark Souls 3 and if I have time I want to do the blood level 4 blood bone unfortunately there's no blood level 1 for some reason but 4 is the lowest you can be on blood bone so I shall pick that and try it Like my playthrough of Bloodborne that I'm doing off stream at the moment is Arcane build and it's the first time I've ever done Arcane in Bloodborne. It's actually pretty fun. Oh, I flip block. There. Yeah, Arcane in Bloodborne is actually pretty decent. Like, it's tough at first, but I've literally, I've got Logarius, Maria, Koz, and uh, Logarius, Maria, Koz, uh, German, and Moon Presence to do. Uh, Maria, I've managed to get to like the tiniest bit of health and then I fucked up. Um, I don't see... Uh, like Cos should be alright. Or often as Cos should be alright. Um, so should Wet Nurse. Uh, German and Moon Presence are the ones that I'd be worried about. But I'll also probably be pretty powerful by the time I actually fight them, because I'm doing the, uh... I'm basically doing, like, a completionist one. So I'm doing all the chalice dungeons to get all the different weapons and all the runes and everything like that as well. And then maybe... When I do Bloodborne on stream... 
I'll have an arcane character set up in case people want me to do a cauliflower build. It's the first time I've actually done any challenge dungeons. I usually just ignore them. Like, I know they have special bosses in. But the main thing I knew about Chalice Dungeons is that they were good for um, gems. And gems were never a problem for me, so I never bothered with them. There we go, this is what we want. Almost trapped inside Aldrich for a second. Right. Better rebuff this while I can. This is why. The fire got me. Yeah, some of the chalice bosses are really cool. Like I do like, uh, I've done, what was the last one I did? Last one wasn't too bad. It was... Not Watcher of the Old Lords, is it Keeper of the Old Lords? Like it's literally a pyromancer. <laughs> Right, I think we've got this, to be honest. So this is probably going to be the last attempt, because it's like half nine. And I still have enough, I have stuff I need to do before tomorrow, but... Oi! But, um... Yeah, I think we've got Aldrich down. I just need to actually do it. Right, let's go. This is last attempt. Right, doing Aldrich Soul Level 1 was tough as well. Like Soul Level 1 was all about the RNG. Spam, why don't you? Lost attempt. Go trouble, go underscore. Go underscore. Go underscore. Go underscore. Go underscore. Right, we'll rebuff this while we've got a chance. Not you. Just. Fucked it up. 
never mind. Yeah, we've got the strat. Well, we know what we're doing. So, yeah, that's me done for today. I'll be back tomorrow with Mario and Pokemons. But he's going. So. There we go. And we'll find somebody to raid, shall we? Who's online? We got... Tell you what, Mr. England is doing his uh, Dark Souls 1 run still. And he's on our body's little and large, so seeing as he's doing it for charity and stuff, we may as well stop by and say hello. So yeah, thank you for watching everybody. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you. Cherry for the sub and thank you for the, the anonymous gift sub to Alex, whoever that was. I'm gonna say Manu because all gift all anonymous gift subs are Manu until proven otherwise. So I will see you all tomorrow for Mario on Pokemons. But until then, go and say hello to Thomas. He's doing charity Dark Souls. Every time he has he dies, he has to pay a dollar to charity. And he's on our big boys, Ornstein and Smell. So, I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, Greg. <laughs>